I'm an ICT expert and um, uh, I bring about just about 15 years uh, experience. Previously I worked with Microsoft for just about six years and um, I'm coming into this mission. Uh, one of the questions I asked myself was how is my profession uh, going to be relevant especially to this mission? How will I add value? How will I be effectively, uh, how can I effectively use my profession um, as an avenue of outreach? And we started asking these questions just before the mission started and a week before the mission, I um, had an opportunity to um, share in a teleconference with one of the pastors uh, in Dunedin. And we started toying with an idea. The idea was setting up an investor breakfast where we'd invite um, businessmen from um, all walks of life in Dunedin to interact with other businessmen uh, back here in Nairobi and just to share opportunities of co-investment both in New Zealand and in, in Kenya, and with the purpose of um, starting off conversations which will lead to meaningful relationships as an avenue of outreach. And it's amazing how um, uh, this idea actually came to life uh, as, we, uh, as we thought about it. We quickly got into gear and, uh, and set it up. We had this teleconference hosted at, um, at a restaurant called Strictly Coffee where we invited um, businessmen from all walks of life uh, in Dunedin. On that particular morning, we were encouraged to get just about um, seven or eight of them coming in. And on, on this side, on the Kenyan side, we got around seven Kenyan, Kenyans, um, all who love the Lord uh, and are in business, to be involved in this teleconference. Um, some of those people are, for example, Ken Boyer, who has a lot of uh, experience and a wealth of experience in ICT and in, in right now is in agribusiness. I was encouraged to have Kimunya Mugo also uh, join us on that. And also Jonathan Karanja. Um, and we spent just about one and a half hours uh, going back and forth and sharing opportunities. Um, and some of the opportunities that came through are very interesting around agribusiness, like I've mentioned, uh, renewable sources of energy. Um, education, e-learning, and um, digitization of content. And the conversation was very energetic and very forward-looking. And just to see people interacting across uh, a wire uh, was very encouraging for me uh, and a very interesting first step in forging meaningful relationships with, um, with the people down in Dunedin. And the encouraging thing after this teleconference was that um, everybody agreed that this is something that we could actually look forward to doing every month. As a matter of fact, this month we're actually hosting our second teleconference. One of the men there, an entrepreneur, uh, agreed to actually host the, this uh, next teleconference. And so we're really encouraged that, uh, that God can actually use um, what it is that you have in your hands. Uh, which is your profession and your skills and your experience to actually forge meaningful relationships that will bring glory to him and would actually also encourage other people to um, to start that conversation because for me I relate that to the discussion that the the two disciples were having on the road to Emmaus I don't think they were talking about the Bible um, all that all that time they must, must have been talking about something else could have been business and so for us we link this to the road to a mouse. And so using your profession is really walking down that road to a mouse. Reflecting to, uh, back to what the Lord is doing in my life, I think it's also a challenge to, to you who thinks that you cannot um, stand in front of people and talk about the Lord, but you can use the gifts that God has given you um, and your experiences to start a conversation with somebody around you. That, that's just for me. Um, the highlight of my mission.